Good evening, you're watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. First, the headlines. The tropical cyclone Luban is presently downgraded to a tropical storm. The indirect effects of the tropical cyclone continue in the wilayas of governorates of Dhafar and Worcester. And the United Kingdom values the Sultanate's efforts to support the bilateral relations between both countries. Those were the headlines and now for the news in detail. The latest weather charts of the National Multi-Hazard and Early Warning Center show that the tropical cyclone is downgraded to a tropical storm. The center of the storm Luban is in the west of Arabian Sea at latitude 14.9 degrees north and longitude 57.5 degrees east and around 430 kilometers away from Salala City with a surface wind speed ranging between 100 and 117 kilometers per hour. The Public Authority for Civil Aviation said that the tropical storm Luban continues to move in a west-northwest direction towards Yemen and to the adjacent coasts of the Governor of the Far, with chances of intensifying to a Category 1 cyclone within the next 24 hours. Numerical weather prediction charts show the possibility of indirect impacts of the cyclone on the Governor of the Far and the southern parts of the Governor of Al Wusta, with isolated rains, strong winds of 37 to 46 kilometers per hour, and high seas with a maximum wave height of 6 to 8 meters. The charts also show the possibility of a direct impact of Luban on the Governor of the Far to start from tomorrow, with heavy rains, occasionally thunder showers, accompanied by gale winds at a speed of 56 to 74 kilometers per hour and high seas with a maximum wave height of 6 to 8 meters. The southern parts of the Governor of Al Wusta is expected to be influenced with indirect impacts tomorrow and on Sunday. The Public Authority for Civil Aviation calls on everyone to follow official weather bulletins, take utmost precautions not to risk crossing flowing wadis, move away from low-lying areas and not to venture out to sea. For more updates, our reporter Saleh bin Khalfan Al Rahbi is with the Public Authority for Civil Aviation to report the latest developments of the tropical storm Luban approaching towards the governments of the Far and Worcester from the Arabian Sea. Hello, Saleh. What information do you have for us from the National Multi Hazard and Early Warning Center? Uh, hello, Sabra. Thank you. Um, as you know, this morning the uh, tropical uh, system has downgraded to a tropical storm. And uh, to get the latest updates, I have with me here um, uh, Jafar bin Hamid Al Busaidi. He's a weather forecaster at PACA. Welcome, Jafar. Um, can you please brief us on the latest tro developments of the tropical storm Luban? Yes, uh, the tropical storm Luban is about 420 kilometers from the latest imagery from the satellite and uh, the wind speed in the center is about 55 to 60 knots and uh, it, it is moving uh, westerly to northwesterly towards the Yemeni's coastal areas. Okay, um, Jafar, uh, what about the areas that have been affected by the uh, rain so far? Yes, from uh, yesterday night we have uh, some isolated rain along uh, the coastal areas of Arabian Sea uh, mostly Masira Island, they have some uh, thunder showers with hail uh, today in the afternoon and uh, those rains are still uh, there in the sea and advected to the coastal areas as we can see them from the radars. Okay, um, Jafar, what about the uh, expectations in the upcoming 24 hours? What do you expect uh, will happen to the system? Yes, uh, from the numerical weather charts uh, from the Omani models, we expecting that it will intensify again as a tropical cyclone in the coming uh, 24 hours and as it, as it is coming closer to the land it will reduce in uh, speed in the center and uh, gradually it, it will become weaker. Okay. Um, the last question Jafar, uh, what, will, uh, what is your actually uh, advice to the public uh, especially during the direct impact of this uh, tropical uh, system? 
Yes, uh, as we know, these tropical systems are very dangerous and uh, also strong. So we advise everyone to uh, stay at home in the areas that will be affected directly by the tropical uh, storm and uh, also uh, follow up the bulletins issued by the center and uh, avoiding to be in the wadis and uh, flash floods and uh, avoid also uh, riding the sea. Thank you, Jafar. Okay, Sabra, so that was uh, Jafar bin Hamad al Busaidi, uh, weather forecaster at PACA. And now over to you with the rest of the news uh, at the studio. Thank you very much to our reporter Saleh Al Rahbi for those updates of the tropical storm Luban. And the wilayas of the Governorate of Lafar are ready to deal with the tropical weather condition Luban, which is expected to affect the Governorates of Lafar and Worcester. All capabilities are utilized to deal with these weather conditions. In the wilaya of Dalkut, bordered with Yemen, Dalkut and Hafuf schools were allocated as shelter places, while Deem School are assigned for providing medical services. All precautionary measures were taken by all government bodies in the governorate. The emergency case management committees in the wilayas of Marbat, Thaka, Sadah and Hasik also completed its preparations to deal with the weather condition and issued some instructions to raise awareness among citizens on how to behave during the adverse weather conditions. The Ministry of Defence Sultan Armed Forces has completed its preparation and readiness to deal with the tro tropical weather condition Luban. It is utilizing all physical and human capabilities as to provide support to other civil and security sectors in such conditions. This came through the activation of its plans for the deployment of field units, search and rescue teams, and administrative support and technical divisions. Major General Matar bin Salem al Bulushi, commander of the Royal Army of Oman and the commander of the Joint Force, got acquainted with the deployment mechanism for land forces and the role they play at the operation scene. This came during his visit to the headquarter of the Land Forces Command at the operation scene for Shumukhtu and Safe Saria exercises. He also viewed the military plans and field measures to be implemented in the next successive phases as to ensure harmony with other plans of the air and naval commands. He was also briefed on the missions and duties undertaken by the land force and steps to be followed to implement measures to deal with supposed enemy forces on the battlefield as per the joint command plan in a way that achieves the success of general plan of the two exercises. The United Kingdom valued the Omani efforts to support bilateral relations between the Sultanate and Britain. This came in a speech by Sir Alistair Burt, British Minister of State for Middle East Affairs, during a meeting organized by Anglo-Omani Society in London. The event was attended by His Excellency Dr. Abdul Munim bin Mansour Lehsani, Minister of Information, who stressed the deep-rooted ties binding the two countries. The event coincided with the organization of Safe Saraya 2 exercise by joint Omani-British forces, which is hailed by attendees of the meeting. This is the Sultanate of Oman television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. The tropical cyclone Luban is presently downgraded to a tropical storm. The indirect effects of the tropical cyclone continue in the wilayas of governorates of the Far and Worcester. And the United Kingdom values the Sultanate's efforts to support the bilateral relations between both countries. And that's the end of our news bulletin. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and have a nice weekend.